created Spirit Rising, we had, our intention was threefold. The first thing is to draw attention to Himat, to generate funds for this incredible work being done with the people in northern Pakistan. And of course, the third thing was we wanted to stimulate positive action in other people in whatever way they could do. The idea of this story is connected to art as well as connected to life. It's connected to a concept called spirit rising, which really is all about the capacity of human beings to move beyond really difficult circumstances and to create something new in, out of the ashes of something extremely difficult. This idea has inspired art, but it's also inspired the transformation of societies. We visited the northernmost part of Pakistan. This area is called the Hindu Kush, and it's a high, high mountainous area. The people there are agriculturalists living on, you know, most of them on less than two dollars a day. And they had uh, come to a kind of a turning point or, or a kind of tipping point in their social and economic circumstances. These are amazing people. These are resilient, strong people who are facing tremendous obstacles. Himat is an Urdu word that means empowerment. It means taking courage when things get tough. Well, there was a landslide in January of 2010 and the entire mountain fell down and filled up that valley from side to side because the river backed up and it made this lake that was, oh, it was about 30 kilometers long and 400 feet deep. And so high, high in the Himalayas, all of a sudden the only way to get anywhere in this area was by boat. People were entirely cut off from markets, from their families, from the rest of the country. This put a complete uh, stop to their agricultural trade and plunged their economy into utter failure. So some months after that, we met with community leaders. And they said, well, we want help with development better health care, better housing, better income, uh, safety and security. They listed off a whole bunch of things that really development should bring. So our whole idea is that if change is going to come, it's going to come from within their communities, from within their capacity, and that our role as outside helpers is really to strengthen them and their capacity to do what they need to do. But 500 families lost everything because the lake flooded out their their land, their homes, and so on. So still now, more than five years later, these people are living in refugee camps. Well, we knew the first thing really was people have to have hope. Without hope, you can't go anywhere. And some people were feeling pretty hopeless. How could you again reestablish your life when it took generations to make a home out of that rocky land? We found that with a little bit of input. I mean, really we're talking about small, small investments of, of time really and of energy and of money. People were able to s see a possibility of something coming out of this. They would have to make their own strong development institutions. So we began a process of learning together. About 120 villages started cooperating to learn their way into a new future. What they achieved in just a matter of a few short years is really and truly astounding. It's spirit rising in the truest sense. And we began the first in a series of courses that became part of what now is we call Gojal University, a virtual college, educating people about how to develop themselves, how to improve. Now there's more than seven courses that have been completed and 10,000 people that have taken these courses. And as a result of this, there's something like 300 new businesses. There's about 200 institutions, women's councils, men's councils, village councils, that are functioning when that weren't functioning before. There's savings programs and there's microcredit programs that have started right out of the communities where before they had thought they had nothing. The money that has gone to support this project has been raised from individual We've raised about $75,000 a year. 
We want to create a, an art object that really captures the spirit of what is happening over there and will attract people here too to understand really what this work is and how all of us together can help each other across the world. So that was the birth of this wonderful art project called Spirit Rising. Uh, the motivation behind uh, creating this art piece was actually to do something positive for charity, um, a real personal commitment. And uh, so Glenn and I uh, decided that we would uh, create something unique. Whatever skills we have, um, we, can, we can use them to help. We can take action. And I haven't spent my life building communities, but I make things. And the joy of making something that has real meaning, instead of just being a mere object, that's huge. The story, we, uh, we feel, uh, the metaphor is the capability of people to actually go beyond adversity. The base was a design challenge in itself. Multiple compound angles, every piece was a different size, and we needed exacting dimensions. And then, of course, the other issue was fitting this metal web to this pristine wood form. The strong wrought iron base um, is indicating a network of people, a community of people. So if you build a strong foundation, then good things happen. We started with the idea of a kinetic form, and then we went to a levitation idea, which was a huge challenge, and we ended up moving to this tethered magnetic concept. Then once we had that idea, then it was a matter of figuring out what the form was going to be. That strong foundation actually supports the wood obelisk and that uh, re represents in itself the collective energy of, of people uh, rising from this, this foundation. All of us have a relationship with plants. We need them to survive. And then the two pod halves, they have this tension there with the magnets. And it's as if you're being drawn to something. So it has this great imagery of people being drawn to each other, being drawn to this really important thing that we want to do with our lives. The metaphor of spirit rising is really powerful. It's this idea of let's lift people up, let's build a strong foundation, and let's create an opportunity for people to grow both in themselves and in their communities. Mm -hmm.